Hi guys, uh, Ryan here from um, the Private Banking Forum. Uh, just um, thought I'd do a uh, update today on what I've um, how I approach crude oil today. Um, just a quick uh, video today. I mean, um, starting from uh, let's go from the weekly. I mean, from the weekly, like we I was uh, discussing last week, um, we've sort of been one time framing down um, as we see uh, a rejection of this uh, bracket higher, and we've seen a sort of mean reversion from this anchored VWAP um, down to the sort of 100, um, 180 sort of. Well, the 101 is probably a bet as a better level to work with here, and um, since uh, we're obviously Monday today, new week, and uh, we're back in value in this VWAP and. Um, Zooming in on, on on zooming in on some sort of smaller time frames. I mean, from on the ETH uh, chart, we can. I've got this sort of clear bullish uh, channel marked up, and we're sort of um, testing the lows as um, as we speak at the minute, and uh, we're finding bias from this area. So, just looking at the minute, if we're going to see a breakout of this channel, we're going to continue to see like a reversion to the mean and back to um, the mean sort of value price on this um, on this bullish uh, price channel. Uh, from um, the Midas VWAP perspective, um, this is the Midas VWAP I was uh, using last week, and um, you can clearly see we've come down, we've tested uh, the, the low of the de developing value and a, a low volume node on the composite, and um, we've seen buyers respond from this area. I mean, we are st still trying to reject this um, this Midas VWAP from the highs. I mean, we, we, we try to reject value here, and um, we're continuing to sort of uh, find buyers pushing this back up at this at the minute. That's what it seems um, so. So um, I mean, just at the minute, we're just testing the sort of the mean price of this anchored VWAP, and um, I mean, it's looking for a continuation of higher prices and back um, to this sort of uh, 106 area. If we hold this 100 level, 101. I mean, if we hold the 101 level, then I'm expecting um, the 106 level to get tested, the 109, and maybe a continuation to clean up this poor high up here. Um, Obviously, this is um, a lot larger sort of context, but I mean, it's what I'm looking at at the moment in time. So, what I sort of uh, was looking at today, um, we've got this uh, this current distribution that I'm tracking, and we've got a double distribution. So, I mean, today we opened up at the in the low volume area, and um, we came down and tested this lower distribution and uh, sort of the lower the developing value of this area, and we see buyers respond. And um, this is where I look to initiate my trade location. I mean, my trade location was um, I mean, if we look at the daily support levels, uh, this is the sort of trading range that we're lo <coughs> we're looking at. And we can see clear uh, buyers responding from these lower areas. So at the minute, we've got the sort of 162 area and um, the one the the, f the 103 sort of 30 area that we're testing now was the sort of um, the edges of this market. Um, also, what I saw today, which gave me great confidence in my trade, is um, is this month's developing value. I mean, we see this market um, respond off of the lows. We came up and tested last month's value. Um, we seen some, we saw some buyers sort of uh, coming in here, and we sort of see a mean reversion on this month's uh, developing value. And we just tested um, the low of uh, the developing value area low for this month, and um, this was just a great area to look for um, a trade location that lined up with the higher time frame. So. What I did today is obviously I just waited for this area to get tested. Um, we opened up and we sort of spiked lower, and then in B period we spiked down and uh, and um, saw some uh, down to my area. And uh, I got long here from the 101 sort of 95 area. And uh, I mean we was out of balance on um, on the on the ETH VWAP, but um, obviously this was a great sort of conference area. I wanted to see buyers start responding here, and um, we didn't get great absorption down here, but we I mean. It's hard to see, uh, and we sort of see a rotation down here, and we see um, lots of sort of buyers stepping in here, and we see one more sort of rotation down, <coughs> down to the the month developing value low, and um, you can clearly see on the volume that we just dried out here, and um, buyers just came in and started hitting a bit aggressively back into um, into the developing value and um, back into the um, initial balance for crude oil on the the first session, so. Um, I mean, I initiated my trade from here. I got scaled out pretty quickly on my first and second target, and um, I'm just looking for my uh, my my last target here. I mean, my target was um, just inside this uh, previous value area from Friday. I mean, we had um, we had this sort of uh, pretty balanced rotational two-way trading day, and um, I mean, I was going to target the point of control at the 103.65, but uh, obviously there's a higher sort of volume mode on the composite at the minute at the 103.55. So I was just looking to um, 
to get out here, I mean, my current target on this is uh, 103.50, I think. Let me just double check. Yeah, 103.50, my current target is. So, I mean, we just come up and pretty much um, missed my target by about 15, uh, 14 ticks now. But, I mean, we've got had this great response off of the lows and. Um, We've basically been one time framing up since uh, since B period, and we um, when we see bias respond here. So, I mean, my next um, my next sort of level to watch is um, around here. So, I mean, this is a great place to uh, to great to take profit here. I'm just literally um, just uh, observing everything. I mean, we're out of balance on um, on ETH and RTH VWAP, and uh, we haven't seen um, a massive amount of absorption yet coming in on the footprint. I mean, we see some sort of resting uh, limits coming in, but we're just seeing um, sort of buyers continue to step in here. I mean, this this area here is interesting, I suppose. But um, like I said, I'm just going to trail my stop and um, and try to get my target hit, or we're going to see this market come back into balance where I'll just close this trade out at the minute. And this is my thought process. Um, behind this position at the minute so I mean I've already locked in some great profits and um, and this has already turned out to be a great trade so like I said just a 103 sort of 50 area the previous um, value area and um, and that's me done on this trade today I mean the S&P I see a great um, setup this morning as well I mean we opened um, below uh, Friday's tr uh, tr trading range and um, we see a rotation just down into um, again another composite area that I I'll quickly bring it over here quickly. Um, as you can see, it's just in the excess lows, and we just see buyers respond from here quite aggressively. And, um, and this market's been uh, was one time up uh, until D period sort of came in. But um, I'm not trading this market today, like I said, I just been, I was just watching it, uh, just watching the movement on it this morning as um, as it opened. And um, in mean, the euro as well, we had a another sort of great setup, came down to a great support area, and you can see buyers just uh, aggressively responded here. So. Um, yeah, it's just what I'm seeing at the minute and um, how I'm playing things. So I'm just trying to get this target filled at the minute, and then um, that probably be me it, calling it a day today. Anyway, I'll um, I'll wait for this target to get filled, or me or my training stop to get filled, and um, I'll finish up this video. So keep posted. Okay, we're just pretty much at my target location now, about tick, ten ticks away. Um, I'm just going to call this a day now and just um, close this trade out and um, be done with it. So. Um, I mean, it's still pretty early here. It's quarter past eleven Eastern time, so um, I'll pause this video. And uh, if I see anything else um, that's worth uh, documenting, then um, I will continue this video. So keep posted. Okay, just um, going to finish this video off. It is currently uh, ten to two Eastern time. Um, we've just seen a sort of mean reversion uh, trade um, set up. I mean, I, I didn't fade this uh, this ball move up. I mean. You could have got short from VWAP and um, sold like uh, Friday's value and looked for a mean reversion type of scenario, but I was just done on that last move. I mean, we did open gap down today, and we've um, we came up and we filled the gap and tested last uh, Friday's close and um, and VWAP level, and uh, yeah, we've just seen um, a mean reversion type scenario set up now on this uh, on this crude oil market. I mean, regards um, the euro, we just uh, just seen this sort of test up the value high and um, just pretty balanced rotational and um, the S&P uh, looking pretty much the same I mean we've just seen this um, move off of the um, the previous lows and we just uh, we just came up and um, tested uh, Friday's value and um, we just uh, balanced um, rotation ro rotational here so now I'm just going to call it a day today I mean we've got that great crew trade this morning and um, just going to call it a day so Anyway, um, I hope you had a, a great day, and um, if you have any questions, uh, please ask on my thread on the on the forum. Take care. Bye.